Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. A while back on our YouTube channel, we posted a video which showed how to copy or move automation, and we've had a couple of viewer requests come in asking us to expand on that idea uh, to show how to copy automation to a new track. Uh, so the first thing to say is where we are now. Well, we've got a session up here, and on this strum guitar, um, I've got some quite complicated mute automation, which basically sounds like this. <laughs> So rather than sit and rewrite that automation for every track where we want the same thing to appear, what we need to know is how to copy that to a new track. Well, the first thing to say is over here in the track headers, you'll see you've got these little disclosure triangles when you're in the automation view, which you can switch off up here using the automation button. Get rid of the automation or bring it back. Uh, and also the key command A does the same thing. And these disclosure triangles enable you then to drop down and look at the different parameters you're automating. So if we drop that down, you'll see we've got a mute automation track here. And once you're on that uh, drop mute automation track, you can actually then just hold down the shift key and elastic band the part you want to copy, which will highlight it. And then using the standard key commands, Apple C, select your new track and Apple V to paste. And then you've got that automation on the two tracks. <laughs> Let's just undo that by Apple Z. And if you wanted to actually select the whole automation for the whole track, the easiest way of doing that is holding down the Alt key, which on the newer Apple keyboards is called the Option key, and select the first node, and then it will take all of them. And again, same idea, Apple C, select your new track, and Apple V to paste it. And then you've got it running across the two tracks. Let's just solo those and have a quick listen to make sure it's taken across the whole lot. Okay, it's not reading that automation for some reason. Why is that? Uh, because we need to have the channel strip in read rather than off. So if we just select that to read, and we can shut the mixer down again now, and have another listen. And then you can hear that the automation has been copied across to the new track fine. Okay, so what if you've got something a little bit more complicated? So while we were cut away, what I've done is I've added some pan automation, uh, which you can see here on this new drop down lane I've created, which we did the same way with the disclosure triangles. And what we want to do is we now want to copy both of those parameters across onto our edgy rock guitar track. Well, we could do exactly what we did before and do it twice, do the mute automation in one pass and then select all of the pan automation and copy and paste that to the new track. Or you can come about it this way, which is to create a new track, uh, which is an audio track in our case, and wants to be stereo. So create, and we get a blank audio track down here at the bottom. And then if we select our strum guitar track and hold down the Alt key, which I think I mentioned before is marked as option on the newer Apple keyboards, and just drag it down onto the new track, make sure it lines up. You'll see you get a message which says, do you want to copy the automation data? Yep, absolutely, copy the automation data. And then what we can do is we can select that track and we can delete the audio and leave the automation data there. So we've selected it by clicking in the track header, just going to hit the backspace or delete key. And it says, do you want to erase the automation data? Well, in this case, we want to leave the automation data here. So we click don't erase. And as you can see now, we've got audio track six at the bottom here, uh, which has got automation data, but no audio associated with it. So let's have a quick look in the mixer and Let's not make the same mistake we made last time, so we're going to switch that into read, and then we'll just match the gains with the original track, which was down at 13.2. Okay, and we can shut the mixer window down now, and then we can take our edgy rock guitar, which again we select the whole thing by just clicking in the track header here, and move that onto the new track. We can now get rid of that original track it was sitting on, and hopefully what we'll have here, if we look in the mixer now, is two tracks which have exactly the same automation data on both tracks. So let's open the mixer window and have a play. And you can see there in the mixer that the uh, pan data is following on both tracks. And you could see the little mute buttons down here at the bottom flashing away to let you know they're working as well. So just have another quick look at that. 
And as I think I mentioned earlier, that's not the only way to copy automation in Logic. There is other ways of doing it. So again, if you want a bit more detail, get in touch through the YouTube channel or the website at www.makemorenoise.org and let us know what you want to see. Uh, I hope you found that useful. And those are, in my opinion, the two easiest ways of copying automation across tracks. Thanks a lot for watching. I've been James Muir, and this was the screencast from Make More Noise. Just a quick postscript to that video. Um, I've just watched it back and I've noticed that uh, the latest update to the screen capture software isn't working quite as I expected. So in the second half of the video, the screen wasn't updating, uh, but the techniques I've shown you are absolutely right. Uh, I'll apologize in advance for the fact I haven't got time to go back and do the screencast again. I think it's probably better just to get it out there. The techniques are absolutely spot on, but what was happening there was that the screen capture software was dropping frames or just not updating the screen. So. When I cut away to the mixer and said, look at the pans and the mutes moving in real time, they weren't. I'm going to have another quick go at this point and see whether I can show you what I mean. Uh, so hopefully we should see the mutes switching on and off here and we should see the pans following each other. Let's see if it works this time. Fingers crossed that worked. Thanks again for watching.